the top technology. Blockchain. You've probably heard the word tossed around with Bitcoin or NFTs, but blockchain is way bigger than just crypto. What is blockchain? Blockchain is a digital ledger, but unlike traditional databases stored in a central place, blockchain is distributed, which means shared across thousands of computers called nodes. It is decentralized, means no single company owns it. And it's a ledger, meaning it's a file system that records and secures data in blocks. Think of it like a notebook passed around a room, where everyone can see and verify what's being written, but no one can erase it. So now, what's a block? Each block is structured like a JSON object, and it contains several key components. Let's discuss them one by one. First is index. This is simply the position of the block within the entire chain. It tells us if it's the first block, second, third, and so on. Next we have timestamp. This captures the exact time when the block was created. Then we have transactions. This section holds all the pending transactions that are included in the block. These could be anything from sending crypto to interacting with smart contracts. And here comes the nonce. This is a unique number that miners use during the process of validating and securing the block. It plays a key role in the proof of work mechanism. Now we have hash. This is a cryptographic fingerprint of the block. It's generated based on the data inside the block, ensuring that any tiny change in the block's data would completely change the hash. And last element is previous block hash. As the name suggests, this stores the hash of the previous block, effectively linking the blocks together to form a secure chain. Together, these elements make each block unique, secure, and traceable, which is why blockchain is trusted for transparency and immutability. Now we will discuss types of blockchain. Blockchain isn't one size fits all. There are four types, so let's discuss them all one by one. Our first type of blockchain is public blockchain. As the name suggests, it's open to anyone. Examples, Bitcoin, Ethereum. Next is private blockchain, only accessible by selected members. This is used in enterprises. Now we have consortium blockchain, controlled by a group of organizations. Examples, supply chain tracking. And last type of blockchain is hybrid blockchain, mix of public and private for flexible access. Now one of the biggest myth is blockchain is only crypto, but it's not. Blockchain is not only the cryptocurrency. Most people think blockchain is just for Bitcoin, but it's not correct. Blockchain powers way more. These are some of the most used one. NFTs, digital assets with ownership proof. Fungible tokens like Ethereum or Bitcoin, which can be split and exchanged. Gaming, blockchain games give secure digital ownership and in-game currency. Smart contracts, self-executing code that runs on the blockchain network. Decentralized apps, apps built on blockchains like Ethereum or Polygon. Let's discuss them all one by one in details. Blockchain in gaming. Imagine games where you own the characters, skins, or gear you buy. You can trade items with others. No one, not even the game company, can delete or take away your stuff. That's what blockchain brings to gaming. Plus, it prevents fraud, hacking, and unfair bans. This is what Web3 Gaming is. Smart contracts, code on the blockchain. Smart contracts are a game changer. They're bits of code that live on the blockchain and run automatically when conditions are met. For example, if A sends money to B, then deliver the product. These are written in languages like Solidity, the most popular one, and other languages are Python, JavaScript, and Go. And these are tested in environments like Remix IDE, Hardhat, or Truffle. Decentralized apps often called as dApps. Decentralized apps are just like regular apps, but the backend runs on a blockchain. Some of the popular dApps include OpenSea, for buying or selling NFTs, PancakeSwap, decentralized crypto exchange, Brave, a browser that pays you in crypto, no server downtime, no data selling, just full control and transparency. Now let's discuss how a blockchain transaction works. Let's say A sends money to B. The transaction is created and added to a block. Now that block is broadcast to all nodes in the network. Now each node validates the block using consensus algorithms. And once approved, the block is added to the chain. And now the money is officially transferred and recorded forever. As you see in this, no banks, no delays, just peer-to-peer -peer trust. Now let's discuss the advantages of blockchain. Transparency, everyone sees the same data. Nothing is hidden. And in this, we have lower costs as there is no middlemen, so the fees will be less. Security and trust as the data is tamper-proof and verified. And that's why industries like finance, healthcare, logistics, and entertainment are betting big on it. What about cryptocurrency? Of course, crypto is a major blockchain use case, but Bitcoin is not only the single cryptocurrency. 
Some of the popular cryptocurrencies other than Bitcoin include Ethereum, Polygon, Binance Coin, Shiba Inu, Dogecoin. These are used for everything from payments to staking to running smart contracts. Now let's discuss about categories of cryptocurrencies. Not all tokens are the same. Here's how they break down. Meme coins, Shiba Inu, Pepe, Baby Doge. These meme coins are viral, but these are too risky. DeFi tokens, AVAX, Link, FTM. These are majorly used in decentralized finance. Gaming tokens, Gala, APE, ENJ, used in blockchain games. AA Crypto, RNDR, Theta, tokens which are powering AI plus blockchain. So the next time someone tells you blockchain is just Bitcoin, you can confidently say it's way more. So that was a quick dive into blockchain, its use cases, applications, and key concepts. But we're just getting started. In the upcoming videos, I'll show you how to build a wallet system that actually runs on blockchain, step by step. Make sure to hit that subscribe button and tap the bell icon so you don't miss future videos on AI, blockchain, and yet, even more emerging tech. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.